Sawadikap, I'm JP Mistanza. It's December 21st. Welcome to Phuket Extra brought to you by PVCPhuket.com. The big news story out of this weekend is the outbreak just southwest of Bangkok in Samut Sakon province. As officials have traced back over 821 COVID-19 cases to one seafood market in that province and are now scrambling to do mass testing on anyone who is in the area. Although they did say that cases are expected to continue climbing as they find out how many people were infected outside the province. The news broke on Saturday afternoon that over 500 cases were found in Samut Sakon province and reports say that health officials knew as early as Thursday, which is when they started testing people, mostly Myanmar migrant workers who have jobs at that market. The Bangkok Post reports that the first case in this latest outbreak was a female vendor at the Mahachai Central Shrimp Market in the province who fell ill on December 13th and tested positive for COVID on December 17th, last Thursday. And it's been spreading ever since, albeit 90% of cases are asymptomatic and the rate of infection is 43% from tested people, according to the chief of the disease control department. Still, neighboring provinces have been affected with cases found in Bangkok and smaller number of cases in Nakhon Patom, Samut Songkram, Supamburi, Saraburi and Rachaburi provinces as well. Again, officials are scrambling to test everyone they can to find out who not only visited the market but had come into contact with anyone who did. And their aim is to test upward of 10,000 people, possibly more, in an effort to contain the outbreak. Anyone who had visited the market or was in contact with anyone who did is being advised by health ministry to self-isolate for 14 days. Samut Sakon province is now on lockdown until January 4th, with provincial officials temporarily closing all entertainment venues, sports stadiums, schools, and shopping malls in the province, with restaurants and other food venues allowed to sell takeaway only, and a curfew from 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. has been ordered for just that province as of right now. As testing continues, health officials say that the number of cases will continue to climb while test results come back but they remain optimistic in front of the media, assuring the press that they will be able to contain the new outbreak, even saying they expect the situation to return to normal within four weeks, as long as the transmission rate remains under control. As of this broadcast, health officials have yet to draw up clear guidelines for locking down provinces if the outbreak continues to spread, although it is being discussed right now by officials in Bangkok. The New Year countdown in Bangkok has also been canceled. Meanwhile, here in Phuket, officials are on alert with COVID-19 prevention measures expected to be stepped up. With news of the latest outbreak, COVID-19 cases in Thailand have so far reached 5,289, with 77% of total patients recovered and no new deaths. This is a developing story, so for the latest, visit thephuketnews.com. Phuketians across the island cast their votes in the first local elections in over six years this past weekend as candidates vied for seats on the Phuket Provincial Administration Organization, the PPAO, or the Obojo, joining 76 provinces around Thailand that also held their elections this past weekend. And now, one new PPAO president has been tentatively announced. Former Phuket Democrat MP Rewat Ari Rob has been elected president of the Phuket Provincial Administration Organization, or Obojo, according to the preliminary count of the election held yesterday. According to the local Phuket office of the Election Commission, the PEC, they said that out of the over 294,000 people eligible voters on the island, just under 173,000 actually cast their ballots at the 496 polling stations across the island, a 58.7% turnout rate for Phuket. At 5 a.m. this morning, the PEC confirmed its count of the votes, posting it on a billboard in front of the PPAO head office next to Phuket Provincial Hall. Rewat, number two on the ballot, representing the Phuket Yat Dai Party or Phuket Trustworthy Party, secured just over 83,000 votes, while second place Jirayut Songyot of the Konban Rao party secured just under 51,000 votes. Sorawut Palimaput of the Gauna party or the Phuket Progressive Movement party was third with just over 20,000 votes, according to the PEC. 
Rewat's party, the Phuket Yat Dai party, secured 20 of the 24 seats available of the PPAO Council, with Kon Ban Rao securing three and Gao Na securing one. A very tired PEC Director General Pasakon City Pakayapon told the Phuket News that the next step is to submit those results to the Election Commission head office in Bangkok, and the PPAO president will take office about two weeks or 15 days after Bangkok confirms those results. He added that, so far there's been no formal complaints filed about the local election and that COVID-19 prevention measures were followed. For the full results, visit the PhuketNews.com. Phuket X, you'll be right back after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. The move to increase the speed limit on highways nationwide to 120 kilometers an hour will not apply here in Phuket as none of the major roads on the island satisfy the criteria for the speed limit increase. The Phuket Highways Office confirmed the news last week, just weeks after the cabinet in Bangkok approved the increase in the highway's speed limit to 120 kilometers an hour but left the actual implementation of the law change to the transport ministry and has yet to come into effect. Under the conditions of the law change is that it will apply only highways with at least two lanes running in the same direction and traffic islands with barriers, which Phuket has a plenty. However, the roads must also not have ground level U-turns, which all major roads in Phuket have. Phuket Provincial Police have confirmed that the fastest speed limit on the island is 90 kilometers an hour with a lower limit of 60 kilometers an hour on roads near a local community. Of note, former Phuket Highways Office Chief Samak Lid Wong Hat back in 2015 confirmed that the speed limit signs in Phuket with a white background and a red circle are in fact advisory only and not mandatory. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Marine officials say they will be pressing charges against the operators of a speedboat that dropped anchor on baby corals in a protected area near PP Island. The move follows an officer at the DMCR's Phuket Marine Biological Center posting photos of the boat and of the damaged corals on their Facebook page late last week and said that the coral in that area took at least four years to recover and fill the space. The officer said, quote, we have looked after them, the corals, since they were smaller than a little finger and then moved them to the protected area. It took at least four years for the corals to be this good and fill the area, adding, however, the selfish boat operator took only a few seconds to damage them. Dropping anchor in protected coral reef areas is a breach of the Wildlife Conservation and Protection Act, and violators can face a fine of, of up to 100,000 baht and or up to a year in prison or more. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Thank you for watching Phuket Extra today, brought to you by PVCPhuket.com. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit PVCPhuket.com. Drop us a line in the comments to give us your thoughts on any of today's stories. We'll be back tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket's. Hey, ถ้ามองเห็นอะไรมั้ยครับถ้ามองจากรถที่อยู่ด้านหน้าคุณจะเห็นชายขี่มอเตอร์ไซค์ตามมาด้วยความเร็วปกติถ้ามองจากคนที